Keep California Cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Sadie practices over the haunches with an ATV mechanical cow simulator. Pulling slack. And Susie's coming my way because she feels the pressure behind her horns. From our training progress so far, it has become obvious to us that both Eve and Sadie need more desensitization training to all attack and tools necessary to prepare for farming with horses. I'm going to view a video of us ground driving her with a harness on about three years ago in 2008. And I realized back then she was lifting her legs just like she still does. So we really never eradicated that bad habit. And it's a real dangerous habit to have when you have a lot of straps tug straps and drive lines and uh, trying to pull. So we're taking a step back with Sadie today and we're showing you how we're going to work with her to get her to be uh, better behaved when she's got all the straps of a harness on. We're doing it with some ground driving lines. They're yacht rope lines. They're heavy duty. And uh, I uh, saw a program by one of the natural horsemanship trainers just uh, a week or so ago about trying to train a horse not to kick up its straps, not to bother worrying about straps if they feel uh, the, uh, the pressure of a strap on their legs or on the sides of their body. So that's what we're doing today. And we may go to the next step and actually put the harness and the tug straps, the rest of the harness and the tug straps back on. But maybe we'll just, uh, just do this. Depends how she behaves. And Katie, who's just recently learned how to ground drive, she learned with Eve, uh, Sadie's mother. Uh, so I'm going to be here just explaining to Katie what to do. I'm going to have the lead line in hand and a ground driving whip in hand. And notice that we're doing this where we normally are training our horses to pull as well. Because location, views, sounds, that all is part and parcel of desensitizing and then sensitizing a horse to harness pull. So we put the sir single on so we'd have a place for these straps so that they wouldn't uh, hang down and be in our way. Now I'm uh, taking the lead line off and I'm going to ask Katie, you're watching, we haven't uh, rehearsed, you're watching the first attempt to walk up. It's a windy day by the way and a cold day and it might start raining any minute but we're going to do our best to get started here. See what we're in for. Uh, go oh. straight. Step up. Straight down the driveway. Let's say step up, up. The, the big step. Step up. There you go. We do need the the uh, lunge whip. Step up. So that we have an arm extension. Uh -uh. It's kind of tricky Come working on. with drive lines. Come on. Step up. Ho. Oh. Step up. Well, there you go. We do need the lead line on. Thank goodness we have a uh, camera operator today. Now we're going to do lead line, lead line uh, uh, cues, and join up. Okay, here we're going to do a G, G, make a bigger circle, and a ha, step up ha. Now we're going to stop right here in front of the camera 
and try something. Oh. Whoa. Now I'd like you to take your long yacht rope lead line, uh, drive lines and allow them to droop by her back legs. If she lifts her legs, we know that she's still uncomfortable. So far, so good. See, tug straps would do that too. And now what I saw in RFD, it was, I think it was Craig Cameron, it was quite dramatic. He just slapped those lines. He was using a heavy rope like this too. Slapped them on the back legs. And then both, uh, 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 then swung it over the hips. He only had one line at first and then two. You know, we're desensitizing her. She has to know that even a little lower, because even though we try to keep there, that's what we want. Good, good. Yes, she's responding. She's responding. She's not sure what we're asking. And what I'm asking oh. is for her not to care. Who? Good, Sadie. Now, how about the other side? If she lifts her legs, at least we can just drop the line. It's oh. not att attached to anything. She's being naughty right now. I'm staying out from her flight zone. If she gets angry, I sure don't want to oh. be in front of her. And we are in a, in a closed area here, big as it is. Uh, there are, that we've closed the gate, so she, if she does get away from us, she is not going to end up on the entire property. Now let's go a little farther this time and let the let the yacht rope lines touch the back of her legs. Ha! Ha means left. G means right. Boo! We want stand now. Boo! Okay, now slap her again. And her back legs. We're not so worried about our front legs for oh. this, but we are worried about the back legs. Although the front legs are a concern as well, eventually. There, less response. Now she's distracted because she sees something here. Oh. We don't want her to get distracted. We want her to focus on our requests. So this is good. Remember she has blinders on, so when I do do a visual cue, I try to do it in front of her face. Step up. I'm gonna go. And then G. Now I'm going to G. Step up G. Whoa. I can see concern and stress in her body. She is not relaxed yet. So far she hasn't lifted her legs and gotten all hung up in these yacht rope lead lines. But you see this kind of behavior? This has to be trained out of her because it's too dangerous to have all those straps for pulling, to have a harness training pole, to have single trees and all of that, and have a horse that's dancing around like this. There's always the problem that a horse is a flea animal and something might spook them. The most gentle, the most trained of all farming horses still have wrecks, believe me. Uh, but uh, you try to minimize it by making sure that under normal circumstances without the uh, flea and predator mode uh, in their minds, you do have their focus, you do have their understanding, you have desensitized them to everything that might happen. Now there's another thing I'd like to do Katie, is you can just drop your lead, your lunge line for a moment. We're going to take this and put it through the shaft holders. And let me show on your side, you know what the shaft holders are? Yes, you're going to put it through there instead of, instead of the top of the, because we want, we want these lines to be falling here 
on her neck, on her shoulder, on her front legs. So we're putting these yacht rope drive lines lower in the front. It was good to start up on the top of the surf single for this first time around because that allowed us to concentrate on the back legs, but now I know that we also have to work on shoulder desensitization and front leg uh, desensitization. Good. Now you see if you let it sag here, you can also, especially with me here, I can help you, we can desensitize her to it on the shoulders and on the front legs. Step up. Is she relaxed? No way. Look how she's playing with her bit. Did you see that I had to give her a visual block here in front of her face to get her focus? Woo. Oh. See how she's dancing around? Woo. Let's let, let that droop a little bit. You see how if she lifted her front leg, she could get hung up in it, but I'd much rather her get hung up and learn that that's the wrong answer in something like this, a smooth yacht rope lead line that's only connected in uh, one place than to have it happen when we have our pulling harness completely on her. Whoa. Now we're not going to show you every session like this, but believe me, before we put that harness back on, Sadie, we're going to do a lot of these sessions until we get a relaxed horse. Woo! 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 She's getting worse instead of better. I'm looking for my note of resolution. Can I stop this lesson? That's better. Now I'm going to loosen these drive lines off the bit. Okay, we're one one on and one off. Pull that one out. You can see we've got our job ahead of us. Okay, now let me try to loosen it. She was playing with her bit, playing with uh, throwing her head. Okay, now it's loose, coming through. Next time, I'm going to use a better lead line too because I want it to be heavier. I want it to be a yacht rope lead line. Why? Because when I wiggle, she'll feel it much better under her chin and it will be a better cue. These uh, cotton lead ropes are fine for leading a horse that's relaxed to and fro, but not so good for training. Again, I'm not going to quit. Until, until about now. That's our note of resolution. She's watching Katie, who's wrapping up the yacht rope drive lines. She's standing still. She's not playing with her bit. And that's all for today. Well, here's Eve, Sadie's mom. And uh, we're still desensitizing her two single trees and tug straps and so forth, but she's much farther along. 
We bring out like a rafter hanger. We hang the tug straps nearby. When we're ready for them, we'll put them on. We had to expand or extend the tug straps so that they would make it to this, the harness training pole, which is a little longer than are these tug straps. So I have these small carabiners on the end of these uh, dog choke chains, which are a convenient way to extend the tug straps. Now I'm going to put those on this rafter hanger here by, nearby here on the fence. To go get them, if it looks like we're ready. Again, it's been a cloudy, windy day, so we always feel out our horses ahead of time. But see that Eve is completely harnessed up except for the tug straps and see that we have holders for the tug straps with these dog collars. Nice lightweight, easy to put on and off. They're just snap-in dog collars um, so that we can keep those tug straps up away from the bottom of her foot in case she does this kind of stress reaction. Although Evie is not really a candidate for that kind of reaction under normal circumstances. So Katie is just going to show you that she's being pretty good about fully harnessed except for the tug straps walking up and down this sanded driveway with a G and a ha and a step up cues and her blinders on. Step up. Step up. Ha. You really need to be able to give direction to your horse who's helping you in farming and so that's what we're working with now besides getting relaxation, stress free, resistance free reaction to our requests. She's See that Evie is almost jigging. Look at her gaping at her mouth. This is a product of today's weather. I believe weather has a lot to do with training. So we may or may not be able to get as far as we'd like to today. Here's a lunge whip, which is just an arm extension in case we need it. Let's do that again because of that gaping that we saw. Remember, G means right. Eve's right, ha means Eve's left. Better? Better. They start almost jigging and coming this direction. Sometimes just what they see ahead of themselves or behind themselves makes a difference. Let's see if she does better. The wind kind of died down just now. Let's see how she does. We're reading her body language. No gaping so far. She picked up pace a little bit. Okay. How do you feel about handling the drive lines? It looks like she was a little bit more stressful coming this direction. She is, yeah, but this last run. Much better. I feel that we can therefore put the tug straps on. So we're going to do that. On the front, attached to the collar, the buckle, we put it on the first hole. See how we have all the other straps hung up for now because we don't need them at this time. Like shafts and harness training pole and forth through the dog collar. Katie's going to hold the chain for now. I'm going to put the tip of this thing into the keeper just to keep it out of the way. This buckle strap. I'm 
looks good looks good through the dog collar I can make the dog collar shorter and I may or may not do that one small step at a time I make these decisions now see Eve is looking behind her she maybe hears something there's a creek bank over there she knows that there's critters tend to come out from the creek bank she's standing pretty good you see Sadie wouldn't be doing this for me not at this time the other tug strap now in Katie's hands but you know what I'm uh -oh. all, right, all right let's let's do this can you hold them both yeah, and so. do the same thing. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, I'm going to go into the cart shed nearby here, get the single tree, because if she behaves okay and the wind doesn't come up and get her all stressful, we're going to put the single tree on okay. and then probably call that our note of resolution if she's a good girl. Step up. Paw. Notice how the tug straps are staying on the upper part of her leg, which is what I want. G. Eve was working okay up and down the driveway. The wind would get strong and then subside, but Eve was handleable. Safety wasn't a factor to consider here, so Sonia went to get the single tree. This is an ABS single tree that we made with bolt eyes, chains, quick releases, and here comes Eve. A little bit of gaping. Again, a little bit of concern here. Over again. Back, back. Now we did this at our last session, but I'm going to do it again now. I'm going to show her the single tree. Look at that. Look at that head position. She says, I don't know if I want to see that. Okay, here we go. Little bit of concern about it. She almost stepped back. Seems to be trying to look away from it. We'll walk around her with it in the air. Now she can't see because of her blinders. On the ground. I have it on my shoulder. It's all right, Eve. There you go. You see, she said, hmm, I think I'm going to look at what she has in her arms. The wind is coming up. Don't forget, weather has a lot to do with training demeanor. I'm going to walk around in the other direction. Oh. She might know I'm walking back here, but she can't see me. Her peripheral vision is blocked by her blinders. It's all right. Oh. It's all righty. Oh. You see this? Stress. Signs of stress. Not real bad, nothing like Sadie, not throwing her head. Here comes that wind again. Back, 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 back. Oh. Ooh. I may want to put a lead line on shortly here. The wind is picking up very strong. Back. And I was hoping back. that if that didn't happen, back. I'd actually be able to connect the single tree to the chains that are in Katie's hands. That's what they're for, either connected to the single tree or connected to the training harness pole. It's all right. It's all right, Eve. That I think is an interim success objective. I'm just going to put this thing on the ground for now. I'm watching Eve's body language. Oh. Oh. I'm going to drag it on the ground. It makes a whole lot more noise on the sand oh. in the driveway than it does on the turf. So I'm going here on the turf on purpose. I'm sure she can hear it, even on the turf. It's all right, Eve. Look at her body language. Although her back leg is cocked, look at her neck, look at her ears. She is not relaxed. 
And she just gave us a sigh, that's good. She's saying, well, maybe I'm not going to get attacked this time. She seems to be putting her head down. So I'm going to very slowly walk around her with this single tree. Which ultimately, as I said, is going to be attached right here between Katie and Eve. And I'll have it up off the ground when we're first training and then I'll put it on the ground but be able to pick it up off the ground as the training progresses and we'll just keep watching body language to see if she is afraid of this thing that's behind her. Which could very well at first be interpreted as a predator. So now on her right side, I'm going to walk here on the turf with it on the ground. It's all right, Eve. I keep talking to Eve. It's all right, Eve. She hears it. In a moment, she'll see it. So I'll be right in front of her. Better. She's uh, less stressful in body language. I'm going to come around. Generally, I do not relieve the pressure if I'm getting the wrong answer, but that time I did stop just to assure her that she's okay. Now I'm coming around on the turf, so it's not so noisy, but I'm sure she can hear it. In a half a moment, I'll be going down the sanded driveway, and you can see that she heard it. And yet can't see it because of the blinders and got all of the stressful look in her body language trying to look at what this thing is that's making all this noise good girl Eve and I'm looking for my moment of resolution here if it were a quiet windless day I'm sure we could have gotten farther but I'm showing you every step of the way because you never know what the weather's going to do and it all depends upon where your horse is as far as what they'll accept stress-free and what they won't. See how Katie had to very quickly get behind Eve? Because you lose control if you're Back. not behind her. Back. Back. Back is a real good attention getter, focus gathering tool. Okay, if you can get her to stop. Oh. Oh. That's all for today. Sammy, Rusty, and Susie. Heifer Calf Sela. For more information, www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.